Hey everybody, Colin Shadwell back for some more 2014 pottery videos. This time I'm making uh, dog bowls. So my sister-in-law Alyssa, hi Alyssa, was in town last weekend and suggested that I make some dog treat jars, which I think I'm still going to do. It's just in the process of looking up ideas for that. I came across some really cool ideas for some uh, bowls. So this is my dog Gus, and he's had the same water and food bowls forever so and they're pretty nasty so I thought I'd make him something new so here's my attempt at making some uh, big wide dog bowls so the idea behind these bowls is pretty simple it's I mean it's just a really spaced out wide bowl so what I'm trying to do here is to uh, center my clay really low and then you can see I'm using the the palm of my hand to really smush it out wide and then open it up and I'm, I'm kinda leaving it pretty thick at the bottom I will trim these um, um, but the most important part is what I'm doing right now. You really have to compress your clay. You have to smush that clay down at the bottom. Otherwise, you will get these little S cracks, um, which can ruin your pot. So, And then I've, I've really slowed my, my wheel down here, and I'm just trying to pull this straight up. You notice it's kind of leaning towards the middle, which I try to do as well, because this will try to flare out. So I'm just trying to kind of get this, some height out of this, and then I'll come back with my rib tools and just try to straighten this out. I'm trying to leave a little nubbin at the top, too, a little rib at the top, and then just getting rid of this excess clay on the bottom. So it's pretty simple, just nice and spaced out and really flat on the bottom, which um, is different from the other bowls I've made, which have been really round at the bottom. So uh, using the stamps that I've got here, I thought I'd just throw a little uh, extra. So I'm just stamping in thirsty for um, the water bowl, and you'll see the hungry one later on. And then it's just turning these over and then um, trying to tap this toward the middle. Using those rings, I never use a bat when I uh, when I trim if I can, because I like to use those rings on the, on the wheel surface, which help you center it up a little bit. And then really just kind of working this this uh, bottom side and trying to make it as flat as possible. And just getting rid of the excess clay on the side here. And then I just put in two little rings where I want the foot to be. Obviously, since this is a big, wide bowl, I want to have a really big, wide foot. And again, this is where a lot of my weight of my bowl is going to be. So just trying to get rid of as much of this clay on the side here as possible. And then really gently just coming through here and just taking off a little bit and then tapping it and listening to the, the sound it makes and just looking for that gentle tap and just refining slowly because you don't want to go too far and you certainly don't want to leave it too thick. If you leave it too thick, it will crack. Um, so just going back and forth and testing it until you know you've got it the right thickness and then you can even pull it off and you know check it with your fingers and feel if it's about a quarter of an inch is what you want or less. So uh, after it was done, I went through and just put a little uh, hand engraved little paw print, which I will glaze a different color. Probably the inside will be all white and that'll be the outside color. And then here is the uh, thirsty bowl for all his water. You can see that it's got the uh, nice stamp effect in there, just a real solid, simple design. And then here's his food bowl, which just has hungry on the outside. So thank you, uh, Alyssa, for getting me inspired to make these, and uh, hope you keep watching.